had a series of heart incidents. He, he kind of uh, went a bit mental and peculiar, and part of his brain kind of broke down, but his body managed to live on, and he rejected people uh, that he had no right to reject before. He would never have dreamed of it. And he was suspicious and negative. And also, uh, one of his sons, Williams, would humor him and sometimes uh, baby him in a way or act like a strict sergeant. And Williams would kind of um, uh, push him around a bit and, and say, come on now, get on with it. And, and Bill reacted to that, and Bill was, would sometimes be sullen, but Williams would uh, say, come on now, let, let's get going, snap out of it, I'll take you this, I'll take you that. And so in a way, Williams helped to push some, some of that life back into, into Bill, where there was some kind of odd absence. So do you think he responded to that well? Uh, well, he pretended to be embittered, and he pretended to resist it, and he pretended to think that Williams was bullying him. But uh, really, um, it was good give and take, because Williams knew what tone and what stands to take with Bill, because N Bill knew that he was kind of out of it a little bit, and Williams was well inside uh, uh, the, the heart of a uh, he healthy life. And so Williams kind of breathed uh, some of his life into, into Bill, just as Bill's life was kind of ebbing out as his mentality was uh, uh, getting kind of odder and more feeble. And Rasa too. We were and, no, no, R R Rasa lived here. And Rasa was, yeah. was a daily companion.